Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is Tuesday the 17th of April and this is my daily stock signals video from our stock scanner membership service. Um, our members get long and short signals every day on the weekly, daily and 60 minute time frame. So in the members area here, uh, we get, for example, on potential long trades, they click on there and as you can see, these are given every day and then members simply click on the image, download the spreadsheet and this is for the long trades and the shorts. Now these are trades for fifth waves. Uh, so the fifth wave move on an Elliott wave, indi Elliott wave move is um, the most likely uh, to happen. It's got the highest probability because all the other rules and observations of that trend uh, have been met. So let's have a look at the spreadsheet for today. Now I've gone for uh, longs uh, on the weekly time frame. There's a lot setting up at the moment because we've had this um, quite volatile markets, but in reality, some of these stocks have pulled back quite a lot. Some profit takings happened, and we seem to be finding some sort of support now on the weekly time frame. So there's a lot of longer term swings setting up here, and these are good um, for, but will need to be adjusted as well. Um, but these are a good start to this quarter. So let's have a look at the chart. So I've chosen HD on the weekly time frame for a potential long. Now, before we go into getting it all set up, one thing I need to address is the isolation or the start of the wave count, the start of the trend for those, for those members that have our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. So this is the Ninja Trader version. Uh, we also have it available for Thinkorswim, Multicharts and TradeStation. So this is the weekly time frame. Now we can see here we've got a really big um, support and resistance level uh, which caused then we have the uh, range here. So around about 100 and uh, let's have a look at this price here around about $116, $117, big support resistance level. And then we had this almost double top here with the course range. Now, we're not interested in this range. We're interested in a trend. So once it breaks through here, this is the trend that we're interested in on the weekly time frame because it's pulled back against that trend. Now, so isolating the wave count at this low here just before the move up is very, very sensible. And you can see by our false breakout dots on the bottom on the stochastic as part of the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, these denote a strong bullish trend. And this is the trend that we're in. So let's just zoom in a little bit here. So one of the filters that we look at um, for this potential fifth wave move on the signals membership is this stochastic here crossing over against a strong bullish trend in this case um, into the oversold zone and crossing over. Also, we have the 535 oscillator between 90 and 140%, non another part of the Elite Wave indicator suite, um, but also a good uh, picture of how this wave four is performing. And then thirdly, the wave four pulling back into one of our automated uh, probability zones. It's found support in the amber zone here, which is an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zone up here around about 220. So on the weekly chart, this is looking good. Support seems to be holding. We need to move away from there. So we don't want to be too quick. We don't want to be start catching falling knives and all that sort of thing. That's not that's not trading and investing. What we need to do is ensure that a good support level has been formed and it's starting to move away. We're going to be looking probably not this week, maybe next week uh, for an entry at 185.25 above the 6.4 moving average high here, which is part of the indicator suite as well. Um, so as you can see, we've built this picture up here that of the stochastic crossing over, the 535 being within range, the wave 4 pulling back, everything setting up for that high probability trade there. So let's just go over the entry again, zoom in a little bit. So stop loss needs to be below the wave 4. So I've gone for around about 169.89, something like that below the wave 4 low there. 
The entry is 185.25, which is outside the 6 4 moving average high for next week's bar position. Looking at the weekly ranges there, I very much doubt we are going to get taken in this week. Um, but again, we've got to set up these longer term swings in our watch list and start putting these orders on. Uh, for when they come through. So 185.25 is a great entry. 220 target gives us a great risk to reward of 1 to 2 for this potential longer term swing trade on HD. So great risk to reward. There's no reason to get in too early. We want to make sure it's moving away from that support level and we starting to build momentum on that fifth wave move. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.